I get to say I'm putting this in layman's terms. Hi, it's Doug, and I'm putting it to you in layman's terms, day three of Outbound 2018, and I've got one of the founders of Outbound, Anthony Iorino. Anthony, welcome back to Atlanta in year two of Outbound. I get to say I'm putting this in layman's terms. Yes, you do. Now, for the first time, I've got to put something in layman's terms, so it's, here we go. Here we go. It's, it's been a great event. Now, I remember Thank last you. year, inaugural year, we had a few hundred people. This year, what, 600 doubled it? Four, 400 last year, so 50% bigger, from 400 to 600. Right. And that was very intentional, and we knew that there was a demand for this. And when we started selling tickets, we literally sold them really, really fast, year one. Right. Year two, there were more people, and we wanted to make it a bigger room so we could get more people in. And we still wanted to keep the intimacy, though. So what we tried to do, and you've been here, so you know this. Yes. We're walking around. We're taking pictures with everyone. We're shooting videos with everyone. We're talking, and we're taking care of everyone here. And I think people are surprised because they think they think we're going to be behind a curtain in a green room and then we're going to like come out and like no we're here with you you're there with their event. you're engaging with yeah. the attendees at, at all levels it's, it's yeah. a true mentorship learning environment it's collaborative and one thing i like about this year and last year was great this year you've added more speakers to the table we did yeah and you know what we wanted to do and i think that we're going to continue on this direction in the future is we wanted to give them all the actionable insights that we did last year on year one and two but then people said we want more and we added a second day and the second day we've got James Muir we've got Larry Levine we've got Deb Calvert and we've got Sherry Levitin so we've got breakout rooms going on right now and all of those people are in teaching their content all around the framework that we're talking about which is prospecting pipeline and productivity so they're getting some additional views other than just the four of us and, and that's and, what we wanted to have and happen. you know and there's a lot of workshops and I remember your keynote you really honed in on sell selling is serving your clients adding value that's right. really what I took away right. from it. right that's a good takeaway you know and it's it's it, there's so much information in layman's terms what's one major takeaway from this year that you got out of outbound from the event I mean from the event uh, we knew that the demand for this content was high uh, I've known it Jeb Mike Mark we all hear this we all feel it but I didn't realize how much pent-up energy there was around building a pipeline right now and I think for a long time people have been told prospecting is dead and cold calling is dead and interrupting is dead and that you're just supposed to sit and wait passively for things to come right. to you. And we pushed back against that very, very hard for a number of years. And I, I think you now start to see, uh, I predicted this a long time ago, I, th I think you start to see people who have been preaching that now coming forward and saying we never meant for outbound to go away. We never believed that was true, even though their writing yeah. always insisted that that was true. But now. There's so much demand because people have empty pipelines, and so they want to get back to the fundamentals, to the basic. How do I create new opportunities? So sure. there was the the ability to sell out 600. We could have sold 800 tickets. We would have had to take the tables out, and you know, in that first day, with the tables there, it's really a place where you can do the work, and people are writing. They're and, taking pages and pages of notes. We don't want to lose that. And that, and and I can speak to that. There were people filling up notebooks, taking notes. Why? It wasn't just lecture, observe. It was lecture engagement. I mean, Mike Weinberg was making them do yeah, homework. Yeah. You were making them do homework. Jeb was. You know, Mark, all of you guys, and the speakers now. It's 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 a true learning experience. You walk away overwhelmed in a sense, but you'll come down from it. You'll absorb the content. And hopefully it helps with your productivity as far as pipeline development. That's what we're here for. Yeah, I think that what happened last year is we actually started to see people put their notes on LinkedIn and say, I learned these things. Right. And I'm going to start it in this order because they took so much away. I mean, you had Jeb Blunt, then you had Mike Weinberg, then you had me, then you had Mark. And then in the afternoon, we all came out with more content in a workshop style. And you had Mike Weinberg again getting really, really disciplined about mm -hmm. the work. You had Jeb teach. He's a stickler for that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which is why we call him the honey badger. Yeah, right. And then uh, we had Mark, and then I came out, and then we did q and A. I I mean, we got terrific questions. That part people thought was worth the price of admission just to hear the, the answers. But then today, we're still down here, and Jeb's giving a session right now, and uh, I know Sherry Levitin's giving a session right now. And we're taking people into a room with about 50, which we like, 50-ish people. Very and intimate setting. Intimate, I, yeah. and we're, we're going through additional content, and we're letting people ask the questions that they want to ask. 
And so everybody's had just a great time. But I don't know that anybody's had a better time than I have or Jeb has. Or I've had dad. an outstanding time. Yeah, it's and, been a and, great and it's, show. And the thing is, and, and I'll can conclude with this, you know, outbound 2018, 2017 was the first year. Yeah. There's there's momentum going into next year. I've got to ask. It's, it's going to happen. 2019... Um, no one knows this yet, so this is an exclusive, exclusive? in layman's terms. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we're meeting with the World Congress Center tomorrow okay. to, to look at a room with a, a stage already built in so we can try to get a little bit more room for next year. So we should have a date on that, hopefully, any time, and then you'll see an announcement. Anthony Iorino, thank you so much. If you don't know, you know to follow this gentleman here, the sales blog. He blogs all the time, especially that Sunday newsletter. Ooh, it's a lot of information. I don't know how you keep up with the content, but you're always bringing value. All these speakers at Outbound brought a lot of value. I'm, I was very honored to work Outbound this year, and I'm looking forward to the future. Thank you so much. In layman's terms. I get to close it within layman's terms. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> thank outbound, you. Outbound, thank you.